Mm-hmm. I got him. I got one. Is yours any better? Oh, well, it could be. You know, I've been uh, filming walleye tournaments in, since the onset with the PWT and up into, uh, you know, uh, with the modern FLW tournaments and stuff like that. And I've had a chance to fish with uh, some of the best guys. Got that cheap. And uh, example, Scott and Marty Glorvigan. You know, these guys are the cream of the crop when it comes to walleye fishermen. Get her in here, Chief. There you go. There you go. There you go, yeah. Dan. All right, cool. Right on the end of his nose. Whoa, easy, easy, Thunder. Yep, I got him good. Uh, you know, like I was saying, uh, fishing and filming Scott and Marty Glorv again, you know, those guys are the cream of the crop when it comes to walleye fishing. And uh, one thing I noticed with a lot of tournament walleye fishermen, they have a kicker motor on their boat, and that's for good reason. Small kicker outboards provide unique trolling capabilities in conditions where big outboards are perhaps a bit too powerful for precise speed control, or electric trolling motors don't provide sufficient thrust to handle wind, waves, or heavy current. They're great for covering large flats or trolling expansive areas of open water. There's a good one. There, there's a good one. Once you dial in the proper combination of lure choice, line length, and trolling speed, your lures remain in the fish zone virtually 100% of the time. It's maximum boat control for maximum success. I bait, bait out there. Oh boy, look at that. Bait went. Whoa! <laughs> no, we're talking. There you go. Wait, there's a whopper stopper for no, you. No, there's proof there. crankbaits catch big fish. <laughs> look at that guy there. That's a real, that's a tank and a half. You know, today we're seeing a lot of really fine-tuned tiller motors, very big tiller motors on the scene. And a lot of the walleye fishermen that we know in the upper Midwest like to run a big tiller. They can back troll with it, they can forward troll with it, and when you look at the boat, the reason they like it is they don't need the console and it gives them a lot more room, a lot more storage in a boat, especially a lot of the guys that I know that are guides. And uh, in essence, a lot of them never even get in the, in, in the front of the boat and have a bow mount trolling motor. They do everything out of the back of the boat. Transom mount trolling motor, kicker motor, big motor. Uh, their office is in the back of the boat. And these guys are incredibly good fishermen. So, you know, walleye fishing is done a lot of different ways by a lot of different people to fit the needs. You know, you gotta find what works for you. The kind of fishing you like to do, the size of the body of water that you're on. Precision back trolling tactics originated with small outboards of about 10 to 50 horsepower, providing instantaneous left to right steering adjustment and hands-on throttle control to troll, hover, or drift in substantial wind and waves. Trolling backward transom first into the waves slows boat movement and enhances pinpoint boat control to the max. But too much of a good thing can diminish effectiveness. As boats and motors grew in size over the years, outboards became too powerful and cumbersome for safe tiller control and idle too rapidly to permit effective trolling speeds. If you wanted a big boat and outboard, you needed a council steering until now. Today you can indeed have all the benefits of increased horsepower and enhanced boat control in one handheld package. There's another one, David. It's a good, good one there. Come here, buddy. Mercury's big tiller outboards let you dial in RPMs to a minimum and offer optional power steering for safe and effective fingertip control at high speeds. I, I was going through too many of them here, here, Dan, not to get this. You know, this is another one of those, oh, giants. Huh? <laughs>